This is an apple variety called James Grieve. It originated in Scotland and it's an eating apple which is also good to cook with. It's what I call a dual purpose apple. In fact all apples are dual purpose or triple purpose if you want to include cider uh, as well. But uh, they're, some are less good than others. Some of the apples are only any good for cider. They're useless for eating or cooking. Some are only any good for uh, cooking really. But this is an apple that's good to eat when it's uh, to eat raw when it's really ripe and um, it's uh, very good to cook a little bit earlier. When our customers ask us for cooking apples in August or September we'll probably offer them some of these if we have any. This is not fully ripe yet, you can see it's got a, a yellow background, it's essentially a yellow apple uh, which develops these stripes of red, red stripes which I think are so beautiful. I, Every year I try painting these with watercolours, but never very successfully. And it's um, a really nice uh, fruit to cook with, quite spicy. Um, it goes soft by, sort of, by um, November, it's really very good eating in um, October. Uh, this is an apple which is said to flourish quite well in damp weather conditions. Um, it's relatively um, average prone to scab. so. Uh, it's um, one of the many varieties which you can grow. Some people love it. I've heard uh, a couple of people say this is their favourite apple. It's not my favourite, nowhere near, but then again, I'm spoiled for choice. So, um, James Grieve, and uh, this apple really does benefit from thinning because you want to try to achieve a reasonably large average size. Uh, and again, you can pick the tree over in August and um, sell these to people or use them yourself as cookers before they are properly ripe and then store some until October and I think they're at their best in October. So that is James Grieve, one of the uh, finest apples to have come out of Scotland.